It sure looks like it's something heavy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay guys, couple of cool things today on the channel. I've been friends with Dayton for a while and we both ice fish, we both hunt, we both do all kinds of stuff and we have yet to get out on the water together. So our, our schedules didn't line up or whatever. And finally we said, you know what, screw it. Let's just go this week. We're just gonna go ice fishing. So uh, fortunately, both of our schedules allowed us to come out on a weekday um, and we're gonna go out. So that's the first cool thing about today's video. Uh, the second cool thing about today's video is this piece of equipment that Dayton has that I've personally never seen. So I'm gonna show you guys that really quick. So some of you guys might be familiar with what this is. A lot of you probably are not but this is what's called a snow dog. So basically, imagine a pack of dogs pulling you across the ice. Well, now you have it in motorized form. Um, so Dayton has one of these. I've never even seen one in person, so it's pretty cool to see it. And uh, we'll see how it works here. And then maybe we'll even get Dayton to tell you a little bit about it, maybe why he chose it. Transportation in luxury. Oh yeah, then like, yeah, if you got that backdrop, man, it's worth chasing it. Oh, there's one. What do we got here, guys? We got a fish wrapped around my deucer. What we got? Oh, a decent bluegill. Not a huge one, but my first bluegill of the morning. It's amazing what a little change will do. I was literally like seven feet away from Dayton on the other side of this tree, and he's like, yeah, I'm constantly marking, and I was marking one every blue moon. So I was like, well, I'll go by him. So now I'm about four feet behind him and all of a sudden I'm marking fish. I'm gonna go ahead and let that guy go. I'm not gonna keep any fish today, but it's a start. Yeah, and I love, I mean, oh, there's one. What we got here, guys? Feels like a bluegill. It is a bluegill. Yeah, nice female. There's two of them down there. All right, go back. So this is what I'm using today, guys. I started out with a <clears throat> gold fisca jig and I have, it's probably a three quarter inch, maybe a one inch. And it's basically like it's a grub at the first quarter inch and then it goes to a really thin minnow profile. Um, just in my experience, I found that when you're using plastics, if you use a minnow profile, the bigger panfish tend to be more aggressive. Um, and actually I got these from my buddy Brad who just started doing some plastics. And so I ordered a few and so far when I mark them, they like it. So hopefully we'll catch some more. There's one. What do we got here? There is a big bluegill. That is the kind we're looking for right there, guys. That's the one that I missed. <laughs> he, he went right back down there and let's see if I can get some sunlight on him so you guys can actually see here with my camera. But that is definitely a big, big bluegill. And it looks like Dayton's got a crappie to match. So I'll go over here and show you guys both of these fish. So we're fishing sunken trees, guys. Look at that crappie. That's a very, very nice crappie. So that crappie and that bluegill together, we just pulled out and yeah, sunken trees it is. Go ahead and get this fish released. What a beauty. So those are the ones Dayton was telling me about. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh guys, I'm sitting here trying to make phone calls and Dayton's over here just catching slab crappies. He actually just, just lost that one in the hole and he was able to get his hands on it. So I knew it was a big one by the way your rod was bobbing there when you were trying yeah. to get it in. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Beauty. Nice and thick. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm not kidding guys when I, you know, when I titled it in the title, you saw it, it said fishing, you know, sunken forest. That's what we're doing. These are trees under the water. Um, you know, we're using live scope. You can actually see them right on the live scope. So it's been productive so far. So hopefully we can catch some more. There's one guys. This one actually feels decent. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. oh, there's a nice bluegill. Look at that one. I get some light on that one so you can see it. That's another female. It's, this female is so pale, you actually almost can't see her ear mark. It's like the same color as her body. It's pretty rare. Usually that's a pretty dark tab there. Definitely a nice scale, probably eight and a half inches, eight and three quarters. Fishing in the underwater forest, guys. Never know what you're gonna catch. On the river too, you can catch pike, walleyes, crappies, bluegills. You really just never know. Go grow up and become a 10-incher one day. All right, guys, well, we had Trav come out and join me and Dayton today now, so now we have a truck out here, which is kind of cool because we can warm up. You can probably hear it running in the background. So we brought my truck out here. And uh, oh, we're marking right now. Let's see if we can get this fish to bite. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Fish on, guys. What we got here? There's a nice bluegill. 
That is what we're looking for right there, ladies and gents. My transducer situation is not beautiful right now, but that bluegill is beautiful. <laughs> Check this one out, guys. This is a certified freak. Seven days a week. Look at that one, guys. Pulling them right out of this tree. I mean, we're talking forest fishing right here. Look at that big, beautiful river gill. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good one. That's a good one right away, dude. Yep. <laughs> Hey, hey, maybe you'll catch them. Hey, give me. Oh. It sure looks like it's something heavy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that freaking fish, guys. Look at that freaking crappie. <laughs> that one's pushing 14. Yeah, Holy moly. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That wasn't on a snare rod or a tipped on or anything that was just holding the dead stick <laughs> man what a freak look at the mouth on that thing jeez <laughs> what a slab crappie <laughs> holy moly wow that is a good one wow that's a good one yeah that one's got to be yeah mm -hmm. pushing 14 inches <laughs> wow what a beast let's get a release on that hog okay. yep there you go that was cool <laughs> man <laughs> holy moly that was a big crappie Hell yeah. They got some thick freaking backs in here. Wow. All right, guys. As you saw, we had a pretty decent day of fishing. We caught some nice fish. Trav caught some, Dayton caught some. I caught a couple of really nice bluegills. And we were fishing what we call the underwater forest. But basically what it is, it's a lot of downfalls along the Wisconsin River. Um, and we we're just catching fish in the trees. And so it was super cool besides, you know, breaking off every now and then. Um, but definitely lots of fun. But what I want to do to wrap this video up is I want to go ahead and I want to do a giveaway for a brand new Carbon X 500. The Carbon X 500 just came out. This reel is the perfect spinning reel for ice fishing when you're chasing panfish, walleyes, anything like that. It's going to be perfect. It's a carbon body, super lightweight, coming in at only 5.1 ounces and 10 plus one ball bearings. So for you guys to be entered to win this giveaway, you need to be subscribed to us here on YouTube. Drop a comment below on this video and go ahead and make sure that you click the like button. If you do all three of those things, you'll be entered and we're going to draw a winner one week from the date of the drop of this video. Good luck, guys. We'll see you on the next one.